Let's talk about order of operations and math operators. If you already have a blank uh, application, go ahead and create that. Throw a button on there and double click the button. And we're wanting to program this. 3 plus 5 divided by 4 minus 2. Okay, so I'm going to declare an answer. Dim answer as an integer. What we should get is uh, 3 plus 5 is 8, 4 to minus 2 is 2, 8 divided by 2 is 4. So I'll say answer is equal to 3 plus 5 divided by 4 minus 2. Do a message box on the answer. But I notice I got a red squiggly under here. It tells me there's something wrong. If I put a mouse over it, it says, um, uh, disallows implicit conversions from double to integer. Well, that means that the uh, answer is declared as an integer, but this gives us a double as a result. Double member means you uh, as a number with decimals. Well, if I put parentheses around this operation in this manner, I can do a C int, and that'll convert it to an integer. So it'll take the result here and convert it to an integer. Okay, so now let's run it. Click my button and I get an answer of 2. What in the world? We should get an answer of 4, but it gave us 2. Well, let's uh, take a look at this a little bit closer. 3 plus 5 divided by 4 minus 2 order of operations. Uh, your calculations follow that. Not necessarily maybe what it looks like, but uh, what should be the proper order to calculate items. For example, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, says do what's inside of parentheses. There is no parentheses here. Um, excuse, exponents, we don't have any exponents. Uh, my dear, multiplication division. Well, here's um, 5 divided by 4, what is that, 1.25 minus 2. Then Aunt Sally, addition and subtraction. If I do this one first, 3 plus 1.25 gives us 4.25 minus 2. And if I subtract that, I get 2.25. Okay, now it's closer, but we came up with 2. How come? This uh, C int, this converts it to an integer. In this case, um, it got rid of the the 0.25 and took it to 2. Well, order of operations uh, tells us that we got this put in here incorrectly. Remember how we did in algebra, you would do the top part completely, do the bottom part completely, and then you handle the fraction. So even though we didn't write it out in um, algebra, you would um, have invisible parentheses here. If you're in algebra, you'd have invisible parentheses here. So you're going to do what's there and do what's there. Uh, 3 plus 5 is 8, 4 minus 2 is 2, and then 8 divided by 2 gives you 4. Well, from a programming standpoint, that means to get the correct answer here, I'm going to need to put um, parentheses around the 3 plus 5, and parentheses around the 4 minus 2. Okay, now let's uh, run it and see. And we get 4. So we get the correct answer. Now, you may not remember your order of operations from algebra. Maybe you've never had a, an algebra course um, in depth. Um, if you're not quite sure what happens first, use parentheses. Parentheses uh, forces your program to do what's inside the parentheses first. Now, I am curious if I do need to see int now. So I'm going to get rid of that just because I want to see. Because we know this will come up with an integer anyway. Okay, just from the fact that um, even though we do the calculation, it'll work out correct, it still is not quite sure itself. So it doesn't calculate that. So we do need to see in there. Okay, now let's talk about some other operations. If I wanted uh, 5 squared, for example, let me um, declare uh, dim, actually, let me put it up here. You can actually uh, declare a variable anywhere, but it's good to put them all in one place. Answer 2 as um, integer. 
and I'll say answer two is equal to uh, five and uh, times five, five squared. So message box, answer two. And if I wanted to, I could um, comment this out. I can highlight it. And remember this uh, button right here, comment out selected lines. Okay, so then let me run it. And click that, and we get 25. Now, there's uh, different ways of uh, doing this. Some programming languages allow you to do five care two. Well, let's see what that gives us. Gives us an error. Carrot is what we're used to um, in many programming languages. If you've taken C, if you've taken Java, uh, you'll find C, uh, C works on that. Um, now here, it's telling us that it uh, can't change from a double to integer. Okay, well, let's try C end again. See if that solves it. Okay, we got rid of our error, didn't we? Now if I run it. 25 and 25. So the carrot works in Visual Basic. There's one other way to do a power. And I don't think this works in Visual Basic. But uh, it's where you can do a... Um, let's see if I can remember. I think it's two, two asterisks. I've seen some programming languages. And expression expected. So it doesn't like it in Visual Basic. That's the thing about programming. Is you get used to one programming language. And... Um, just very minor modifications you can do it in another programming language we can also use a math function to do this now i'll go ahead and show it now even though we'll introduce it later on if you type math dot and then um let's see is it pow pow and then you put in five carat two that'll take five to the second power problem is if I do an enter, see how it's got a red squiggly under there? It's because it's a double. So again, C int will convert uh, that double to an integer. So now if I run that, okay, 25, 25. Uh, did I just have two message boxes? Okay, I didn't put another one under. Let me put another one. You'll notice a lot of times I retype the code over and over. I would recommend that when you get used to programming because then you get just uh, really careful with these commands versus edit, copy, and edit, pasting it. Okay, one more try. 25, 25, 25. Okay, now our, our asterisk here, let's talk about that as multiplication. That says 5 times 5. Carrot is our power. That says 5 times 5 also. That's what 5 uh, to the second power means. And this math.pow is also um, that form. Uh, let's see. Some, some um, languages uh, have uh, integer division. For example, and I, to be honest, I don't remember what it is in, in Visual Basic. We're just going to try it and see. Um, 3 divided by 2. Let's see what that gives us. I'm going to comment all this out. So I'll highlight all that and press my comment. Click my button tells me 1.5, which I'd expect. Um, even though these are integers, it uh, treated them as double. Now, some programming languages would require you to put a point zero here. Uh, that point zero forces this to be double, and then double divided by an integer gives you a double. Um, obviously, uh, in this case, I don't need to do that. Now, some uh, programming languages have the slash the other way, and that would be integer division. I don't see a red squiggly here, so I'm guessing this is uh, integer division. So if I run that, there's 1.5, or double, and here's 1. Because 3 divided by 2 is 1 with the remainder of 1. Is that right? <laughs> I have to think. Uh, yeah, yeah, remainder of 1. Um, sounded weird when I said that. 
So um, when you're when you're first learning a programming language, experiment with some of the basic operators. Um, if you're working with multiple programming language, uh, try one and see which one works. Once you learn this, you can try this in any language. Though to be honest, I think in most languages this uh, format does not work. Um, the, the, you have to handle with appropriate conversions. Now those uh, example uh, examples uh, talked about our order of operations and some of the math operators uh, that are common. We'll talk about more as we go along, like there's a way to get the remainder directly. Uh, there's a mod function, um, but that gives us some of our basic uh, operations.